Hi, my name's Ed. I'm a junior doctor in the UK. After I had such great feedback from the video I did of a day in the life of an A&E doctor, I thought I'd show you a bit of the other side of my life. So I work in A&E and I also work as a teaching fellow, which means I teach medical students. One group of them is the final year medical students and making that really difficult transition from being a medical student to being a doctor. So in no other kind of training, maybe second only from maybe going to war, does someone make such a big change from being a learner to actually doing the job. So I thought it'd be really good to capture people's ideas, their thoughts looking back and their thoughts to the future. So very kindly, some of these students have given their time and allowed me to ask them some questions so you guys and myself can learn more about how they feel at this really important time. So I've posed them five questions um, and see their reactions here. The reason I got into medicine was, I think, quite a few different reasons. I saw loads of specialist talks for all the children that wanted to do medicine, so I was like, oh, that looks cool. And I quite like science, so it was just like, it's a practical ap application to like what I wanted to do. My school had a really rubbish careers advisor who said, science, okay, so that's medicine or scientist. And I thought, which one looks more interesting? Obviously, I love the science and Medicine being quite artsy at the same time, it's never the same. And helping people, obviously, uh, such a big impact to the world. Oh, well, my story's a bit weird because <laughs> I didn't want to go into medicine originally. So I did a degree before I came into medicine and then I realised that I didn't want to do anything that involved my old degree. Didn't really know what else I wanted to do and basically just kind of went through loads of different options and I thought medicine sounds like the most interesting one and that was how I got into it. I kind of got into it because obviously I think most medics enjoy helping people and that's one of the big perks of the job. I was at that time at school when they wanted us to organise different work experience placements so I started off with, I really like science so I did an engineering placement, hated it, then one of my uncles is a doctor so then I organised a placement in his hospital and really, really enjoyed it. And then from that, I basically ruled out other things um, which were science related and decided to apply and here I am. And the other part of the reason, I had um, cancer when I was 13, I think it was. Thir I had cancer when I was 13. And so seeing it from the other side, of the, from the patient's perspective, you saw how much difference doctors can make. And so I thought, well, that looks like a very worthwhile career. <laughs> Well, I was quite laid back at uh, the beginning, I think, so my advice would actually probably be to just try a little bit harder, not a lot harder, don't, you know, work yourself down to the bone. As the years go on, you kind of realise what's important, what's not, how to study and things like that. You basically should be working at a good level if you want to be somewhere specific in the country. So, so often now, I just look back and wish I just had a better grasp of some concepts. And if I'd just spent a bit more time and energy back then, it would make uh, today a bit more easy. Have loads of hobbies, keep them up, like don't drop things just because, you know, you start picking up more and more like academic things. Uh, make sure you still have a life, really. Though it's important that you do a lot of work to pass the exams, mm. you don't need to kill yourself. You have to have extracurricular activities. Probably not to try and learn everything too quickly in a way. I think just to... It'll like, you will get taught it eventually, and you will understand things eventually, but right at the beginning, don't get really stressed out not understanding quite a lot of what you're taught. Mine's opposite of his. Um, if I could tell anything to a first year, it would be enjoy it, as in go out more. You're in med school, you're gonna have a hard enough career anyway, so enjoy university while you can. So I think it's just using, applying all the things that we've learned over the past few years um, and just, you know, starting to work, starting to earn money, <laughs> it's been six long years. Having some responsibility because all my friends from school 
have had jobs and have been in the real world, real world, uh, you know, for years now. And I'm kind of looking forward to being a grown up <laughs> and actually having a job and being paid. And it's kind of having responsibilities for patients, um, as daunting that as that is. Like, it's also also like keeps you going and like keeps you motivated and kind of gets you out of bed in the morning because sometimes you think like oh I can be late but when you've got actual patients to look after you're like oh I need to go in on time and like it just completely changes like your work ethic as well if you have your own like responsibilities and stuff and being recognized as a you know um, an everyday member of the team and things like that. Feeling useful might be quite nice I know you, you don't always feel like you know enough but there are times as a student when it feels like you're just kind of getting in the way. It's just being a part of the team as a medical student you do just get left behind a little bit and that's got to be the way it is especially when you're rotating around placements but I'm quite looking forward to just sort of being on a ward for a few months and then people know who you are and you've got something to do you're not just a spare part you're actually there for a reason. And also being able to like give back like medicine is something that you're always like teaching younger ones, be it students, be it junior doctors, etc. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> Making mistakes um, and doing something really stupid that might be dangerous. Yeah, like missing something or forgetting to do something that could be you know, quite important. Long hours every day, solid amount. Whereas when you're a student, it's obviously kind of more of a pick and you could kind of pick and choose when you go into your placements. I'm slightly anxious about where I, where I end up in the country because having not found my place, have been given my placement yet. I'm really nervous about on calls because it's scary to think that you're all of a sudden just going to be on your own and being in situations where you don't know what the answer is, but having to do something anyway. Feeling unsupported and a bit overwhelmed, obviously, wherever you are in the country, working as a doctor, uh, the NHS is tight at the moment and pushed under strain. So um, I'm just worried about, yeah, feeling out of my depth and feeling like, yeah, like I need more support and not knowing where to find it. I think at medical school, you come across situations and you don't know, but if you don't know it's like an exam question and you can just sort of walk away from it or you just guess it or whatever, or you're with a teacher, somebody more senior, and they ask you what do you want to do and you go, I don't know, and then they do it for you. I'm really, really scared about not knowing what to do and yet having to do something anyway. Because at the moment I'm really excited about medicine, I'm really excited to finish and start being a doctor, but I guess I'm a little anxious that it might be so stressful that like I might not enjoy it as much. The answer to this question always varies year on year depending on whether you've had a good placement or a bad placement uh, and I had a fantastic <laughs> peds placement last year and it really swung everything for me when you had a really great team that got you involved and engaged and I just mm. thought oh I can really see myself with a team like this one day. I'm really interested in a career in anaesthetics um, so that was really fun today I got to like um, help bag valve a patient and sort the airway out and stuff so that was really fun. Two areas that I really like, one is anaesthetics, mainly because it's got that aspect of mathematics and physics behind it. The other one is a GP. I uh, love the con continuity of care, uh, seeing patients from an early age to ripe old age and being their, like their primary source of care. I think for me it's actually rural general practice, so um, the more isolated the better really so I've, I did a, some time up in the Shetland Islands on Unst the northernmost island in the United Kingdom where there is one GP on the island 24-7 and the nearest hospital is um, two ferries and a three-hour drive away so and I really enjoyed that. I actually am really quite into psychiatry and there's not many people who are um, but I find it really interesting and and I think it's just, I just think it's so important and at the moment obviously there's a complete crisis about mental health and it just, like mental health conditions are on the rise. I just, I think it's just something that I'm really, really into and I just think is so unbelievably important and I also find it really interesting. So psychiatry is quite high up on the list for me. So I'm really unsure but I, I really enjoy Dobbs and Gynae um, throughout my time at uni but then I also just like general medicine as well. So at the moment, I am 
very, very unsure and I could literally give like top 10. So guys, um, look, obviously on your last placement, is there any sort of particularly inspirational teachers that you've met on your... Um... So are there any teachers that you know that you've worked with that you know particularly good or not? Teachers? Some of the F1s? Yeah, the F1s are always quite supportive yeah. on the wards, aren't they? Yeah, but I mean sort of more proper teaching, like people that you see a lot that teach you regularly. Um, um not really anyone I can... So anyone recently on. that you're... No, I don't. You sure? Anyone? Um, yeah, I've, I had a really good GP placement recently and yeah. I, yeah, I learnt so much on that. Um, so she was really good. Is there anyone that taught you, you know, recently that was particularly good? You know, anyone around here? Not that I can think of. No. You want us to say you, don't you? No, yeah. let, leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that was an interesting look about how the final year medical students are preparing themselves for their future careers. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys, not only for doing this video, but for everyone I've taught over the last year. It has been an absolute privilege and a pleasure to be part of your journey. I hope I've done okay to move you along in your learning. You know, I look forward to all the amazing things that you guys are gonna accomplish. Finally, thanks to you guys again for watching and all the support you're giving me on this channel. There'll be some more videos of some things, no doubt. So please subscribe and have a look at some other things, some other videos down below. Thank you.